my name is Serena and in today's video we're going to be doing a condensing for my binders. So to start I do have my coins here and also my pennies because I will do that at the end. Um, I haven't done any like unstuffings this past month so I have my last set of coins. I did do my other coins and put them in the their place here but the last week I didn't so I figured I would just do it on camera since I haven't um put them in there yet and we're filming this video so um we'll do that at the end and then I'll obviously update you on what the count is in here and so yeah I have this binder out because this is my binder that I have like a lot of miscellaneous stuff that I use here's my prop bills that I make and that I'm going to be using in the, today's video. Um, my trackers and things like that. So I just use this. These are my extra ones. I do um, kind of give these out sometimes in orders. And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in this binder, but we're going to get these out. I have a lot. I do not need all of these. I probably will only use like three, maybe four, maybe none, you know, but I do have some 500s in the back here and then plenty of 100s that I can use. So I'm going to put that back here and then we can go ahead and um, just start. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And we're going to start in my purple binder here. Uh, we're going to actually take out the money that I want to take to the bank first. So, let me do that first. And then I can write those down. Uh, let's see. I, okay, I'm taking my one month ahead money to the bank just because... It's going to be easier that way, and um, when I reach the amount that I need to pay off my phone installments, I will go ahead and pay that off. So, I'm going to take this to the bank or whatever I can in $100 increments. So, I think we had 307 So, let's do 20 40 60 80 100 100 100 Yeah. So, I'm going to grab 100 here. They're new, so they kind of stick together a little bit. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 81. So that is 200. I'm going to kind of grab a different one so we don't use the same ones. And then let's do 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 100. So that's 300. So let's grab a hundred and grab a purple. So it's 300 and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna leave two ones and get a five. Let's see, there we go. So we have that. So we're gonna take $300 to the bank for my one month ahead, so. Month ahead three hundred. All right, I think that's all for this binder. Well, I guess we can continue. I just needed some change, so I think we have enough change to continue. So might as well just, you know, continue. I guess. So let's go into phone. Phone has. 20, 40, 50, 5. So we'll keep the 5 and grab this 50. Okay. And then Cricut. Let's see how much it has. 5 and 10. So we can grab a 10. And then let's see. I don't. Okay, guess is the only other one so we have 300 oh i need a 50 for this one do i have a 50 in the other ones hmm. 
I'll come back and see if we can do this one. But that would be all for this binder. So I'm going to put this to the side. If we can find a 50, then we'll come back to that one. Um, next, let's do this binder. Starting off with my car. Well, we're just doing my emergency fund. So we have 200 in the bank already. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 20. So we'll keep a 20 and we will grab a $100 prop. And I'm going to grab this one. So we have 320 now. So um, that's my e fund for my car. We're taking 100. So, that is getting closer. The goal is 500 for um, this one. So, yeah. Okay. Um, we need a 50 for that one. So, can't do anything there. And then these I haven't stuffed. So, we are done with this binder for now. Unless we can find another 50. And now we've got birthdays. A nope. Okay. I was going to steal that 50 from Christmas, but it needs that 50, so can't do that. Um, my mom has 50, 60, 70, so we can get a 20. We're 70. And then others has 50, so we can't do anything there. Um, I think we can take 100 from here, so let's see. We already have 100 in the bank, and then let's see. 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. So we can get 100 for this. So. Christmas, 100. So we now have 250 in Christmas. Which is a good. And uh, we don't have a hundred, do we? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have to make some change, so that is why I have this here. Uh, so I'm just gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take all this money. This is my back to bank money. I have a lot. Um, whatever I do my own stuffings, I put that cash in here and I don't take it to the bank. I just let it, um, sit here. And then when I get paid, when I do my cash stuffings, I pull from this money instead of going to the bank. So it is kind of a lot still that needs to go to the bank, but I'll get to it eventually. I promise. Okay. So let's see what gas needs. I think a 50. Let me see. All right, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah. So we're gonna put in this 50 in here, which I will just put right here for now. You see that it's 50 and it's in a different spot. And then I will just grab this 50. So now we are condensed. Um, sorry if you hear some noises in the background. My brother just got home from school, so it might be loud for a minute, but he should get settled in once he gets his stuff down and stuff. So, if you hear that, I am sorry about that. I am filming a little bit late, so. Uh, did we finish? I guess we can go back in here. Well, no. I don't need the 50 in student loans because I'm going to take it out. Yeah, and it'll just mess up my counting. So it's fine. It's fine. All right. So, in others, I have 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm just going to grab a 50 and put it in here. Okay. Yeah. And then 
family vacations. We can take money out and condense it. Let's see. We have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. So I'm going to put this down and grab a hundred. So now we have 200 in here. And I'm going to keep this in cash until it gets closer to the time. And then I'll probably use my back to bank money or whatever to get the denominations I want um, before I go on the trip. But for now, we're just keeping in cash and 100s and that'll be good. And then that one we cannot condense, so we're done with this binder. And lastly, we have my business binder to swap some money in. So, oops, it's too crowded over here. Okay. We have 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seventy-seven. So let's get five. So this is and twenty. I guess we'll keep this twenty. Twenty, thirty, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. So we're gonna grab a fifty. But to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to grab two 20s and a 10. That's 50. And then I'm going to put that there and then grab this 50. So we should have 77. We have 50, 75, 76. Come on. 77. There we go. And Texas for my business. And then we have supplies and materials. Um, which has 14, so I'll get a 10. So yeah, 14 in here. Okay, and then giveaways has 25. And then let's see what my emergency fund has. 25, 35, 40. So I can grab a 20. We have 40 in my emergency fund for my business. And that is going to be all my binders. So this is my back to bank pile. Let me get this out and sort it. So now I'm going to put this in here so this should be the same amount um just with more 20s and 10s and less 50s so let's hope i did that right okay and if we did do that right that means this should be let's see 300, 400, and 500. So we should be taking $500 to the bank. So let's count this and make sure that this is 500. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. Yep, 410, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 500. So we do have 500 here, and we are going to be taking this to the bank. So we took um 300 of this from one month ahead um 100 from my emergency fund for my car and 100 for christmas that we're taking to the bank 
So, I hope you did like this part. And I just realized that I usually do this in my singing funds update. My, like, coins. Um. So, let me see. Because I don't know if I'm set up for it. Well, we can co we can combine the two videos. How about let's just combine the two videos since I already did that. So let's just com combine the two videos. Okay, okay. So, anyways, um, I guess I can show you how I do this. So when I have this kind of money or when I'm unstuffing the money, um, this is my back to bank envelope here. Obviously, I told you many times. Um, okay, so I will just go in, and today as I'm filming this, it is the 3rd, so I'll put the 3rd of April, and I will just put my, I don't know, condensing, and we'll get my green Sharpie here and put plus 500, just so I can um, see how much I have in here without having to count it every single time. So, what's 1472 plus 500, which means I should have 1972 in here. 1972. I'm not going to count it because that's a lot. And I trust myself, or at least I hope so. Because <laughs> if not, that would be bad. Okay. And then I just put it in here, which is going to be a lot. So, I don't know if it's all going to fit in here. Or in this little binder, not binder, pouch thingy, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know if it's all going to fit, but we can see, we can see. I do like to organize them on like with the best bills on top, but it's okay. I'll just mix them in. Let me... All right, this is a lot. So I have $1,900 that needs to go back to the bank, almost $2,000 that I need to put back in the bank, um, but just haven't. So, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not all gonna fit. There's no way. Uh, this is a lot, okay, let's just, let me see, let me see, it might. Okay. Okay, it did. It barely did. But anyways. Will I need this? No. I was trying to see if I needed it, but I don't. So, alright. Uh, we are done with this. So, I can put it back in my little envelope here. And I will get my iPad and I will set up for my um, Singing Funds update. So let me go do, let me set up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're at the second part. So let, let us get out my binders and start counting them up. I'm going to put this over here just in case I need it. All right. So we're going to start with phone. And the phone has $55. So, that's 45 And we can say it went down by 45 Yeah. It's like, hold up a second. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right. Apple has nothing, so there is no change here. Um, Cricut has ten dollars, ten, so it went down by five dollars since last month, anyway. Um, my card buffer. So I spent more than I had you know, saved up during this month, so I have to pay 
pay some money back. I have to pay uh, $452 or something. No, 50 no, 400 and 54 Is that right? $454 I gotta pay back. So, um, my card buffer, I just already de determined that that's how much we have in my card buffer because I still owe this. Can you even see that? Probably not. So, we went down by 454 technically. Okay. So, that is that, but I will try to get that paid off in April. Um, if we can't do it, then I will definitely get that paid off in May. Um, my one month ahead. No, we were not counting month ahead. But I'll reflect this in on um, this one. My one month ahead binder. I'll just put it with this because I didn't change that. I'm now realizing. So, let's see. 100, 200, 300, and 7. Oh, change that. 307. So 307 minus 183, which means I went up by 124. I'll get that changed next time, but. For now, it's going to be like that. And I'll just do that one. Alright. My envelope has nothing. Work lunch has nothing. I did put those towards um, paying back my card buffer. So, that's why they are empty. Gas has 100, 200... 300, 400, 450, and 460. We're not counting the twos because I'm just going to put them in the dollar saving challenge um, in my cash stuffing. So, yeah. That means we went down by 20. And then Starbucks, snacks, fun have nothing because like I said I did stuff them but they went to my pay my car buffer back so minus 64 and my buffer is empty as well all right next is this binder so my car has Let's count it up. 100 in car tag. 100 in oil change. 500, oops, 500 in repairs. And then in my emergency fund for my car, we have 100, 200, 320. So, 320. So we have 1,020 in my car. Oops, hold up. Which means we went up by 80. Okay. Student loans, I have, oops. $80 in there. So that means we went down by 420. I just paid my extra payment towards debt. Um, so th this one is down now. And then let's see. My emergency fund is at a thousand still. So there's no change there. Um, and then medical still has 110. Savings still has 120, and my Roth IRA um, for my retirement has 120 still. So there is no change in these envelopes. Okay, and then in travel, 
we have zero dollars, so that's minus 260. Okay. Next, we are going to do birthdays. So, for my mom's birthday, I have 70. And in others, I have 50. So, that is 120 in birthdays. So, that is plus 40. Christmas, I have 250. So, that is plus 100. Um, my other holidays is now empty. I did actually spend some money um, for Christmas. Not for, for Christmas. Oh, for Easter, I spent some money on some Easter candy that was on sale, obviously. Um, I work at Walgreens, if you do not know. Um, I work as a shift lead now. So, you know, they have sales. And after Easter, the Easter candy goes on sale for like 50% off. And so, you know, I decided to get some. So I did. And I just pulled it from here. And yeah. So that is that. Family vacations. I know we just condensed this. But I just want to pull it out. Because I want to. Because we have 200. Nice. 200. So we have no, no, no. We have 200. So, that is plus 70 in there. And then there is 108 electronics. Speak, Serena. Speak. So, that means there is no change for that one. All right. There's no change in this one either because my future home binder has 200 for my future home envelope. And then let's go over here. I will add that up in a minute. Future savings still has 120. All right, now we're going into my business binder. So, taxes has... 50, 75, 76, and 77 in there. Uh, I knew I was going to need the calculator once I put it up. So, that is plus 34. No change there. Okay. Um, supplies and materials, we have 14. I remember that by just, you know, because we just condensed. Um, my equipment has nothing. Shipping supplies has nothing. Subscriptions has nothing. So, we went up by 14 and then no change on these. All right. So, giveaways has 25, and then my emergency fund for my business has 40, and then my pay has zero. And that is all for this binder. So, this one went up by 5, and then this one uh, went up by, what is that, 25? I don't know. No? How did it go up by 25, Serena? I can't math. Don't, don't come at me. 15. <laughs> Alright. 15, and then no change here. So, I'm going to add these up, and I will be right back. 
we sh we now have four thousand nine hundred and seventy four dollars so also some of that was because i did you know put that seven hundred dollars extra towards my student loans and everything like that so i'm not too worried about how like much is going down um and i'm going to try not to spend money this month i really hope i can do that can i manage that we'll see so i already calculated um these balances here because it was going to take too long and i'd have to stop the video and then do it so i just went ahead and do it, done it but my sinking funds we just did that and we got a total of four thousand nine hundred and seventy four and that's all we have so that's gonna go here all right all right so now after paying my extra payment and it's 200 that i usually give it every month we owe three thousand two hundred and twenty dollars and 25 cents for this one and then the other loan which is the smaller one which i put the 700 towards we still owe one thousand sixty eight dollars and 48 cents so for student loans at the beginning of whenever the oh, I think it was October when we started to have to pay student loans back I owed 5,500 so now we dropped it down to me owing four thousand two hundred and eighty eight dollars and seventy three cents which is pretty good to me so we're getting it down slowly but surely so then we're going to add this 499.49 I owe for my phone. And then my iPad, I still owe $794.31. So, I still owe $5,582.53. All right, so if we do that minus what we have which we have 4974 which means we still owe $608.53 which is really good and we're so close to being like in the positive net worth which is pretty amazing so i mean it could have been better cuz last month it was 755 but like I said, I'm going to try to not spend money like I have been. So, we'll see how that goes. But, I take the 608.53 minus 755 and 28 cents. So, we went up. Let me go down here. So, the change in net worth is we went up. by $146.74. So, that's pretty good. So, 608.30, no, 53. So, that is what the end of March looks like. So we are almost, almost there. Um, at least we didn't go backwards. I'm just thankful that I didn't go backwards. You know, farther into the negative. So, you know, I gotta take some wins where I can. So, we'll see what April brings throughout this next month. And if I can, you know, be in the positive net worth, you'll just have to wait and find out. Me too, because we'll get there, we'll get there. But anyways, that is going to be it for this. But we do get to do the coins. So let me go get my wallet. So I keep my things in this little wallet. But I d decided I really didn't like this um, pouch as much as I thought I would. So I got this for Christmas as well. Same Christmas. And... Decided to just put the coins in here. This will be my little coin purse pouch thingy. So, I'm going to take it all out. And we'll just use this as my coin 
pouch. And it's also small and cute as well. And I got my Starbucks card. I don't use this. I use the app. But, you know, privacy. I'll just keep it there. So, I have this many coins. A lot of quarters. I would like to see that I keep getting quarters. Because those add up way quicker. And I'm going to put the pennies in here. You don't have a lot. Just three. So I put the pennies in here. And almost covering the bottom. And then I'm going to put the coins in here. So I have $19.25. And I will probably speed through this. Um, so you don't have to listen to it, but yeah, let's just get to doing that. Okay, so now we have... $21.40. So that is what we're going to end off the month of March with. So that is super exciting and really quick. Since it is the last quarter, so that's what we have in the first three months of the year. Did I say last quarter? I meant the first quarter. The last month of the first quarter. I don't know. Anyways. Um, I did have some ones, so I might as well just go take them out. I think I only had the ones from Gasta. Yeah. I, well, besides that, but I'm not going to take that out. So, these two ones, I'm just going to take them out now because it is the end of March. So, I'm going to be putting the ones in here which is the last time I will stuff this I think I said that last time but these two ones will go in here and that is the last time I will stuff this envelope for the year we'll move on to the next one with the next three months so next video you'll see me use this one and we're going to start fresh um but I guess I can take them out and show you how much it's not like too many like I know I could have saved more but you know so we do have this many ones some of these are like stiff and new so they're not gonna spread out as easy but I think I have a pretty good amount like it's not over 50 I don't think but it's still pretty good for you know three months and just saving ones you know just saving ones that I could have spent on you know candy or you know a drink or whatever random thing I wanted to but I didn't I saved them so that is that and that is it for this video I hope you did enjoy and stay tuned for the next video so we're gonna start the month of April which is exciting exciting and yeah this year is just moving by fast and yeah faster and faster each year I know people say that a lot but it is really true but anyways um hopefully if you are doing this journey you're you are doing as good as you would like and would want to and you know finishing your goals and doing those because those are important and that you know really helps move forward you know with your goals and that motivates you to you know keep moving forward and making new goals and reaching higher goals than before so i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please leave me a like and a comment down below and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye guys